Hi, my name is Angela Harvey, and I'm a professional licensed stylist in Cleveland, Ohio. During my time behind the chair, I've learned tons of tips and tricks that I definitely wish I knew before I was a hairstylist. So I've decided to start sharing them with you. No matter your skill level, I hope these videos make your life a little easier, a little less maintenance, and help you have the hair you've always wanted. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's get right into it today for our beachy textured uh, wave curl tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna prep the hair with the U-Dry Plus Extra Oil Absorbing Dry Shampoo. We're gonna shake our dry shampoo, or any dry shampoo for that matter, really, really well. Most of the time when you see white residue in your hair when you're spraying your dry shampoo, it's because it needs to be shaken a little bit more. So shake probably more than you think. And I'm just gonna section throughout the hair where I need a little bit of lift or a little bit of oil absorption, and then rub it in and we're good to go. Okay, next to prep the hair is Beach Day Texturizing Spray. So I have fine hair, as you may or may not know. So I like to use a texturizing spray to give me a little bit more volume and separation and kind of fake that I have more hair than I do. Um, it's a good use for this because we want something really textured and kind of messy. And then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on the coolest setting and make sure everything is dried in really, really well. You never ever wanna use a hot tool on hair that is wet or hair that is prepped with an oil. I've heard this a lot from my clients um, using oil before hot tools. It is not a good idea. Some oils can sit on top of the hair or not absorb quick enough. And so when you take a hot tool to oil, it's gonna start cooking and really damage your hair. So let's just avoid that altogether. Okay, we're taking our Babyliss Pro one and a quarter inch curling iron to start our wave. And so you see we sectioned off there. I have thinner hair on the bottom half of my head, so I tend to take a bigger section. But if you have more hair, you'll take a smaller section. Okay, so here's where a lot of my clients trip up. Do you see where my finger is on the handle of the curling iron? We're gonna call that the handle and the part that it controls the movable arm of the curling iron. So that movable arm when you start should face the mirror or should face towards the front to ensure that you get a curl that curls away from your face. We're also going to keep our curling iron pointing up or vertically towards the ceiling to give us a looser wave. Checking the temperature and when it gets a little bit too warm to touch, I'm gonna to release the handle and slide in more hair and then eventually slide out when there's no more hair left to grip. Okay, here's the dreaded back of the head. Again, uh, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, I always say to kind of imagine it with your mind's eye what your hands are doing. So that's what I'm doing here. You can see I'm not even looking at the mirror and the curl's fine. And in the end, it looks fine. Okay, so here's a sped up version of what we just did all the way around the head. And most importantly, when that section is done, we're gonna take, this is Lip Lay, so it's a workable hairspray from Unite. And before we do anything to the curls, we're not touching them at all, we're gonna give them a spritz with the hairspray so that as they cool down, they'll get a little bit of hold as well. And then we'll take down our next section, and this will depend on the density of your hair. If you have a lot of hair, your sections will be smaller. But if you don't have a lot of hair like me, my sections can be a lot bigger. Voila. Okay, let's walk through this curl one more time in case I missed anything the first time. So I'm sectioning, a vertical section about one inch thick. I'm going to take my curling iron, movable arm in the front, I'm sliding hair in, and then I'm releasing a little bit and sliding more hair in or curling more hair in, checking the temperature. And then when I'm ready, do you see how I slide through the ends? That ensures that the ends are smooth and not too curly, but also not kinked or kind of goofy all over the place. So one more time, arm towards the front, curling in, curling more hair in, checking the temperature, and then unwinding, and I'm stuck, unwinding and smoothing over the ends. Okay, who wants to see it super sped up? I do. All right, now one for the other side because as you switch sides, I notice that 
a lot of clients have some difficulty. I even have some difficulty if you watch this. Look at me. I'm struggling a little. But I'm showing you I'm taking a vertical section. The arm of the curling iron goes in front, no matter which side you start on. Checking the temperature and unwinding, smoothing over those ends. And then I'm just going to continue doing the same thing all the way around. And one side is probably going to be harder than the other. I mean, it's the same for me, and I've been doing this for a while. It just depends on which hand is dominant. I'm taking my hairspray again and spraying both sections, getting myself in the eye as I usually do in these videos. And then we're going to take down our last section. So here's where you determine where you want your hair to part. And I kind of let my hair do its own thing. It's going to be a little off center. Unpopular opinion. Not everyone needs a center part. I am taking a triangular section for the front. So not a complete vertical section. Curling iron arm still goes in the front. And you see now I'm holding my curling iron kind of at an angle. Here I'm showing you. This will give me a nice uh, kind of a little bit of lift in the front and it'll help the bang section of my hair, even though I don't really have bangs right now, to lay really nicely. And it'll give me a little bit of volume in the end, you'll see. So this entire top side, I'm gonna take a little bit less than perfect vertical sections. And I'm doing this because I want the top of my hair to have a little bit more movement forward. Uh, so that's why I'm doing not completely vertical sections. I'm doing kind of almost a little bit triangular. And then we're going to complete the same thing all the way around the head. And then when I get to the middle back of my head, I'm going to switch and go to the front. And again, I'm going to take that triangular section, smooth out the hair, arm in the front, and that angle of the curling iron you still see, smoothing it out a little bit more, curling out a little bit more and unwinding, pulling through the ends. And I know I keep saying pulling through the ends. What I should be saying is smoothing. Keep your finger on the handle of the curling iron and release a little as you unwind your curl so that you don't damage the ends of your hair. Last spray of the hairspray. Getting it really good because I want this to hold. Okay, now I'm showing you here. You want your curls to completely cool before you do anything to them. This will ensure your curls last longer. And then I'm going to take a wide tooth comb. You could take a brush, a wet brush, anything you want really to comb through. If you want a smoother finish, you're going to take a boar bristle brush. Uh, but if you want a messier, piecier finish, I would suggest a wide tooth comb. So I've combed through and then I'm kind of going through and judging the hair, uh, taking sections where I want a little bit more separation and spraying with my hairspray, and then just kind of perfecting how I want. And here is the final look. It's a little messy, a little beachy, definitely wavy. And do you see how in the front it lays nicely away from my face? Thank you, triangle section. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.